Now, question number 24, the interest on a sum is compounded every 3 months. That means, compounding is quarterly, the interest is added in every 3 months and then again the interest is paid on the principal plus 3 months interest. So, so on and so forth. If the rate of interest is 40 percent per annum, find the effective <laughs> rate of interest per annum. That means, finally, at the end of the year, how much we are paying over 100 that is called effective rate of interest. So, there is two way to approach this. So, method 1 for <laughs> quarterly how many 3 months are there in one year obviously 4. So, I will divide this rate of interest 40 percent by 4. So, I will get 10 percent that means 10 percent for every 3 months is a rate of interest. So, how many such 10 percent will be there, 4 such 10 percent will be there. So, I can take one method that 100 into 110 by 100 because there is an 10 percent interest. So, 110 by 100 to the whole power how many quarters? 4 quarters in a year therefore, 4 and I can take it in the form of fraction that is 110 by 100, 110 by 100 4 times and then you cancel it and then find out the end value or you can take this as 100 into 1.1 to the whole power 4. What is this 1.1? That is 110 by 100 it is 1.1 to the whole power 4. So, we know 11 cube, 11 cube is 1331. So, multiply this by 1 more 11 this is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4 and then 6 and then 4 and then 1 it comes 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So, 100 into 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 where should be the decimal after decimal there must be 2 digits. So, therefore, uh, 4 digits therefore, the decimal will come over here. So, when I multiply with 100 then as 2 zeros are there. So, the decimal will be shifted to the 2 more digits. So, the decimal will come here. So, your end value is 146.41. What was your previous value 100? The end value is 146.41. Then what is the interest you paid in the <coughs> in the period of 1 year? Then 146.41. 4 1 minus 100 that is equal to 46.41. So, this itself is a percentage because you are paying this amount over 100 therefore, this is percentage. So, what is effective interest? The effective interest is 46.41 percent that is called that the end of the year you are not paying 40 percent you are paying 46.41. The same thing can be answered in a general percentage understanding and that is for one month uh, for first three months there are four three months are there one, two, three and four. This is second method. First method is this. So, both are <laughs> almost uh, same effort but the approach is different here is a formula approach and here it is a general understanding approach about percentage. First you are paying 10 percent on principal again 10 percent on principal 10 percent on principal here also 10 percent on principal. Next you pay the 10 percent on 10 percent here that is 1 percent. Now here you pay 10 percent on the previous 21 percent that is 2.1 percent. Now here you pay the interest on all the previous interest that is 30 plus 3.1 that is 33.1. So, you pay 10 percent interest on it which is 3.31. So, 3.31. So, if you observe that in the first year you are paying uh, first quarter you are paying 10 percent, second quarter you are paying 11 percent interest, in the third quarter you are paying 12.1 percent interest on the principal 
and fourth quarter you are paying 10 plus uh, 3 that is 13.31% so the total is 4 1 here and uh, 10 uh, 21 31 33 43 and 46 so overall interest you paid in one year is 46.41 over 100 so it is called effective rate of interest so in both the cases it is same 46.41 46.41 both are same.